lab number 228. In this lab, we continue development of our uh, Flow Paris mobile application. And right now, we'll fix some uh, styling issues that uh, we kind of admitted in a previous lab. So, uh, first of all, we will need to make the smooth appearing of uh, those lists. And it will be pretty simple because we already know how to do it. We'll just need to apply styles. The only thing is that ng if won't work. So everything should be changed to ng show. Uh, so in this case, for languages, it will be uh, pretty simple. So just translate it. Um, then we will need to do the same for history. It will be a bit uh, different because we will have, uh, of course, ng show, but in order to uh, set it to uh, false, so watch for non equal, we'll need to put this sign uh, before it and save. Let's test how it works. Okay, so excellent. Uh, we see that uh, we don't have anything right now. So just as expected. Yep. And next thing is actually to add an action. When we'll click on this recording button, we will need to record a speech and translate it into text. Uh, we will do it uh, with a library uh, called Tanyang. It's quite popular. Uh, this library supports Angular, so it's written uh, kind of in, in pure JavaScript. Uh, it's well fit in AngularJS. Uh, it's lightweight, so just uh, two kilobytes. Um, basically, the way how you, it will work uh, is pretty simple. You need to add um, loading of the script into HTML file. We don't need to download it because of the size of the script and there is no sense to do it uh, because anyway, if you don't have the internet, uh, the translation won't work itself. So we'll need to import this inside our index.html. I will do it right after controls. And next thing we will need to add some kind of uh, comments. So uh, it is pretty simple. The idea is that uh, basically uh, you define uh, the comments. This is like input parameters. Uh, so for example, uh, if the person will say hello, it will show the alert hello. If I will put the star uh, at the beginning that everything that I will say will be assigned to the variable uh, hello that will go after start. Then I will add these comments to Anyang, and Anyang start will mean, that mean, will mean that actually we start in recording. So uh, it has a powerful API documentation, so you can check it later if you want. So for now, uh, for us, we just need a couple of things from there. So first of all, uh, we will actually try to grab the sound, and we will need to clarify if it works or not. So like this, our comment will be look uh, like this. So everything we are saying will be assigned to a variable val. And then we will have some kind of function where we will pass this variable. And inside, uh, first of all, let's log it. Something like this is uh, your Speech. And well, itself. This will be the first thing. Uh, the second thing that we will do, we will actually set uh, scope English text to this variable. like this. Uh, we will also need to modify start um, a bit. Uh, we need to include several things here like auto restart uh, to false. This will mean that when we finish talking, next time we start talking, it won't be started recording again. And uh, also, also continuous.
uh, will set to false. Uh, the idea here is that uh, actually when we start talking and finish some phrase, uh, it won't wait for another phrase, uh, so it won't be one big, big sentence. Uh, we'll start and we'll try to grab the small parts. This is basically the idea of our simple app. So those two things should be there. And uh, one more thing that we are uh, actually needed is the callback. So this will be uh, launched uh, right after we finish talking and able to uh, kind of understand the speech and translate it to text. So when we receive the text at the end, uh, this will be callback end. This is taken from their API, of course. And the idea here is that uh, it will be called uh, when we will got, get the text and we can do something with it. Like the most logical thing will be to disable spinner, for example, uh, because when we finished recording and we, when we are actually having a text, we don't need a spinner anymore. And we can also uh, call this text to text function afterwards. So we should uh, actually know that. Uh, uh, recognition is finished before calling the translation because it won't make any sense if you call it earlier. So here uh, what we need to do, we will need to actually call it uh, text to text. Of course with scope English uh, text as an input parameter. So just like this. Okay, let's see how it's working. Uh, actually, when I will click this button, it should ask me for access to a microphone. The only thing is that microphone is not present uh, because virtual machine doesn't have it. This is done on purpose. Uh, the reason for that is because VMware uh, will be installed on different uh, host machines and different hardware and there may be some issues with microphone enablement and everything like that. So the idea is that uh, we'll use your host browser to test this and basically what you will need to do, uh, you will need to go to your uh, host browser and enter the URL of your virtual machine. So you can find out it actually uh, either from uh, information about your connection uh, and you will see the IP address or the second option is actually when you're going to mobile first platform console and trying to look on just the browser environment as you see it's opened here uh, you also see this IP address. So this is the way how we'll do it. Uh, so IP address for me will be uh, 172.16.220.144 and port will be 8100 for uh, live reload of our mobile app. As you can see connection actually refused. The reason for that is uh, because most probably we are running, running live reload on the local host. So let's check if it will if it will work here. No, it's not. So let's try to relaunch our live reload server. Yep, so as you can see it's running on the localhost by default. So we'll need to manually enter the address with minus minus address and then this IP address. It should work now. Yep, it's working here and it should work here. Yep. So as you can see, we have uh, our host machine web browser with our application that we are developing in 
uh, VMware and so uh, let's try to use the microphone so when I press this button it should ask for microphone and if everything will be successful I will click allow and we'll be able to record the sound let's check hello okay so this is my sound um, actually it went for uh, trying to translate before I actually got the sound so this should be fixed but let's try again talk to me yeah so as, as you can see it's actually analyzing the, the speech uh, but uh, the behavior is a bit wrong so we'll need to change it and the spinner is not stopping okay yeah definitely the the spinner shouldn't shouldn't be stopping because instead of spinner i'm disabling the intro which is already disabled so, so here should be show spinner set to false uh, so next thing uh, that we are doing actually we are trying to call our function and we are doing it outside our callback uh, second time actually so this line should be totally deleted and it should do the effect so let's try again talk to me okay so some something is working I actually able to record the sound uh, speech is analyzed so I see the speech here uh, I don't see the values assigned here so this should be fixed uh, with scope apply so let's go back and here uh, we will uncomment scope apply just like this and let's check what we are having now talk to me yep so now we have our text uh, in English uh, and of course the same in French because we didn't use any service for, for translation uh, but actually it's analyzed what we said so let's try uh, to do something else let's try to enter another phrase something like hello Paris hello Paris so as you can see, it's actually working. The only thing here is that actually before we are getting the answer, we shouldn't see uh, the boxes, so the, the lists. Uh, so as you see here, when I'm clicking on record, it's already shown English and French, which shouldn't be like that. Do not show those lists. Yeah. So even with uh, my pronunciation, it's pretty okay. It understands everything. So those lists should be disabled by default, and uh, this actually uh, for for this we need to move our scope translated true from uh, talk to me function to actually the callback. So when the text is translated like this, let's check. talk to me well it's definitely translated but uh, it didn't apply the scope let's actually move it from a callback to text to text because the translated means that we actually did a translation and we will do it uh, right before scope apply Let's check once again. Test me. Okay, so now we have uh, our lists working. Uh, the same should be actually with the history. So the history should appear 
only when we are grabbing the history, but the trick is that uh, it's actually appeared like that, but we don't have any delay in uh, loading the history because we are using the local service. I mean, we are just hard coding the values, so nothing, nothing like that. So uh, it will be modified later on when we will do the modifications and looking for the history from real database. So basically what we did, we achieved the first part. So we completed the design and general application uh, structure was developed. Uh, then uh, we completed the second part, uh, which was uh, to record the speech and translate it, uh, transform it to text. So this is also completed. And next part that we will need to do, we will actually need to transform this text from English to uh, French language, but we will do it in our next lab. So on this moment, our lab number 228 is finished. Thank you.